hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome so <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys how I just woke up this morning mad as crap because where's my phone <laughs> night I went to bed pretty late but before I went to sleep my sister called me and she was just like hey call me fa on FaceTime audio my sister's in Jamaica so I called her back on what I thought it was FaceTime audio which I did click FaceTime audio and we were talking for 22 minutes so we spoke and then the call ended went to sleep woke up this morning to a message from T-Mobile freaking saying that my my account um reflects $69 for talk for international call and I'm just like what for international I didn't call I, who did I call internationally and I still wasn't even counting the call with my sister because I knew that I made a FaceTime audio call and either ways it wasn't supposed to charge me for an international call because it's FaceTime you know so I call the man and I'm talking to him and I'm explaining the situation to him and he's like, yeah, the charges are valid. And I'm just like, okay, heard you, but how? So I'm just like, listen, it's either the other line on my account or T-Mobile is straight ass bugging. Either ways, I have to figure out what it is because I'm not trying to pay $69 right now. So I called and the guy was telling me that, oh, hey, so um, the charges were valid. Um... But I'm going to walk you through going and checking for yourself to see where the call was made from. First of all, he walked me through the process of going to the section that shows all the calls that you have made. It doesn't show me that, okay, this is an international call and this is going to charge you $69 or whatever. So I'm just looking at it like, okay, I see the calls, but which one of the calls is it? And then he was telling me that it was the first number, which was the last number that I called. That was my sister. And I'm just like, um, excuse me, sir. I don't know what you guys have going on over there at T-Mobile, but that's not it. I called her on FaceTime audio. Anyways, the guy was so nice, and then he was just like, you know, I'm going to try to waive, like, half of the charger or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't feel like I should even pay half of this because I called her on FaceTime audio. So for you to say that it didn't go through as that, that's very shocking to me. And... I was under the impression too that I didn't have the feature to call to make international calls on my line. So I wouldn't have made an international call because I have Boss Revolution on my phone where I put however much I want on there to make calls like that. So if I wanted to call her straight, then I would have just called her through Boss Revolution and still not like straight up from my phone. So I was mad as hell and he took it off and whatever, and I'm just like, listen, I want you to block international calls in my account because we're not, I'm not going to go through this again. And he was just like, yeah, I blocked it on your line, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Sweetie, block it on all of the lines. This is my account. Take that shit off. I don't want it on here because I'm not going to be paying for this anymore, and I'm not going to be having this conversation with y'all anymore. I can't. I don't have time. So he took it off and that was really good. But I feel like <laughs> at 9 o'clock in the morning, y'all are out here just getting me riled up for $69. And I was mad as hell too. I started texting my sister at the same time because I'm just like, listen, bro, this is not it. This is not it. <laughs> this is her texting me back right now saying to make sure that they put a lock on it. And she's asking me if they waived a half. So I'm telling her that they waived all and credited my account. You see, things like this, like anything that's gonna charge me or whatever, I'm always checking on it. So even my actual account, my bank account, I'm always checking on it because I just feel like, listen to me. Let me see a charge on here that I don't recognize and I'm calling you guys. I'm not trying to pay for nothing that I did not use or that I wasn't aware that I used. So that sucks anyways. I'm, what do I have planned for today? I have some laundry that I need to put away because the bags came last night. I need to clean up around the apartment a little bit and um, cook today. So I don't know which one I'm going to start with. Maybe I'm going to start by cleaning up a little bit and then like vacuuming the floors and stuff like that. And then 
put away the laundry and then I'm gonna cook but first I'm going to take out the meat that I'm gonna cook out of the freezer and I also have these two nails that came off yesterday so I cut the rest of them and like rub them down a little bit short and early that's what I do like I'll do them a little bit long to begin with and then like fill them two other times and then you know once they start after I fill them two times the next time I'll cut them down a little bit shorter and then I'll completely take them off the time after that so now I've cut them shorter today however since um I tinted the lace on this wig I didn't wash it so I want to wash it because the way how my body is set up this shit will be mad itchy okay so I want to wash it so there's no residual um nothing on there then I'll wash it today but chances are after it dries I'm gonna have to go in and like give it these little curls back or something you know put my my hot comb on this portion and stuff but that's what I have planned for today. Nothing else planned, but I have a lot of time in the day still. Damn, I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing first. I don't know, maybe even like fill my nails or so. I really be feeling like I just want to take them off. I can't be bothered, honestly. But um, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go and then I will pick the vlog back up a little bit later on. done putting away the laundry and pretty much like changing my bed linen and all that stuff organizing the room vacuuming the floors and stuff like that so right now I'm inside of the kitchen and I'm trying to I also baked my sweet potatoes for the week during this time so all the things that I had set out to do today I'm pretty much done I really feel like I need to start creating to-do lists so I can be like just ticking these off or just checking these off because I heard that it's oddly satisfying to like check things off of a to-do list when you've created one. So um, there is that. So pretty much most of the things that I had set out to do today, I'm really just done with. And it's 12.38 right now. So yeah, um, one of my friends, she's having a baby. She's supposed to have the baby on February 29th. I just feel like, what the heck, the very last day of February, wild. But, um, I love that because I'm, my birthday is February, my daughter's birthday is February, my mom's birthday is February, my brother's February, my husband is February. Most people in my life, their birthdays are February. 
So, um, I was really excited to hear that her baby is going to be born on February and I've been meaning to get her something. Everything that I have been meaning to get her, when I look on her registry, somebody already bought it, which was so devastating. And then I settled on like five items and I sent it to her um, boyfriend and he was just like, yeah, the baby already has all those things, like four of those items and I was really just in shambles. So I ended up getting her some things that I like because she said listen she already has a lot of things but I'm pretty sure she's gonna use all these things anyways so buy whatever you feel like buying so of course I didn't buy the items that he had told me that the baby already had so I went in on my Amazon and I got her some really cute baby shoes super cute and they were not too expensive at all to be so cute and like for the price I paid, oh, love them. I love baby stuff. Super adorable. I absolutely love that. And I got her a gray one. And then I got a pacifier with like the little animal on there. I got a security blanket. I feel like every baby that I've seen always have security blankets. And this one is so cute. And this one, the animal that was on the pacifier is an elephant. And on the security blanket, there's an elephant too. I love elephant. Would I actually touch a real one? I am not sure, but I love just elephant as an animal. And I bought her a bedtime storybook with 365 bedtime stories. So, you know, she could read her one every single day. And it said that my, my order was delivered because I just put her address in my Amazon when I was checking out and just had it deliver straight to her. So yeah, I got her those. I'm trying to be so much more disciplined. I'm already such a practical person. If I don't need it right now, I'm not buying it. So I'm trying to be so much more disciplined with my spending and stuff like that. So this week I was on Fashion Nova and, you know, I was just like, wow, this jacket is so cute. I really feel like I should buy it. And they were having like 40% off and... Um, I ended up putting two things in the cart and I'm just like, God damn it. Like, I really don't need these items. One, one was a fanny pack and the fanny pack I ended up buying it on Amazon. So I could put my little phone and stuff in when I'm at work. And the other one was a jacket. The jacket was $49.99, but they were having like a 40% off. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Cause I feel like I don't need it right now. So just leave it where it is. I had just seen the jacket and I liked it. I went all the way through all the process and like went to the checkout. And then when I was there, I'm just like, um, no, I don't want this. <laughs> and I even the next day, I was still thinking about it because I'm like, damn, I went all the way to the checkout and then changed my mind. That does not happen very often. So I'm really proud of myself for that. And um, I'm trying to do that more because we're not trying to spend well, I'm trying to save more this year, you know, I'm not trying to cash out on stuff that I don't really need because I already have something that I could use. Anyways, I'm going to, I started cutting up some chicken just now, but it wasn't fully defrosted. So I had to kind of like run some hot water on there for a little bit. So I'm going to go in the kitchen right now and finish cutting that up, season it up and like put it on because I've kind of started the meal prepping and then I'm gonna make a little bit more rice to go with whatever is already there and that is the plan right now. So um yeah, but I'm gonna go. I guess I'll check back in later if I have anything else that I wanna go off about. For how many minutes was that? For 10 minutes, oh gosh. Hi guys, so it is so much, so much, so much later and I'm done with everything that I had to do for today. It's actually 9.05. I polished my nails and fixed the two, these two that were broken off. And I polished them blue because I had bought this blue gel polish and did not put it on. So I'm just like, hmm, let me just put it on just because I have it. And I absolutely love how it looks, especially on camera. So that is what we have going on for the nail situation. I meal prepped and all that. So... Everything is pretty much ready to go. I think everything that I had set out to do today, I did manage to get done, which is really, really good because I feel so accomplished. Like I didn't feel like I wasted a day because we don't want that. So that's that. 
And um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because nothing else is going to go on for the rest of the night. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.